Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, click that post notification bell for me so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment sections of the videos, guys. A lot of scammers, a lot of spam. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp and I do not invest money for my subscribers. So be careful, don't get yourself scammed. If you want six free stocks, Weeble is gonna give you six free stocks when you open up a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least one penny in that account. They're gonna give you six free stocks valued all the way up to $12,600. So after the video, I want you guys to go down to the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Well, guys, on Tuesday, we had a nice little bounce in the stock market. The Dow was up more than 2%. S&P 500 up more than 2%. And the NASDAQ was up more than 2%. So... A little light at the end of the tunnel. But Fed Chairman Jerome Powell is going to be meeting today to discuss monetary policy with the Senate Banking Committee. So maybe short lived, right? May, may see a, a red day if that meeting doesn't go well. And they're going to be talking about obviously this looming recession. And uh, so that will have an effect, I believe, on what happens the remainder of the day with the stock market. Now, the meeting will have already taken place after this video is uploaded. So be on the lookout for what's going on in the market today. Could be red, could be green. Just depends on what is said in that meeting, in my opinion. Yesterday, I didn't do much because, like I said, the market had a bounce and it was green. So I didn't deploy any money yesterday. Uh, we'll deploy some today, depending on what happens after the Fed chair meets with the Senate Banking Committee. So we'll see. I'll, I'll have to report tomorrow to you guys what I did. But you know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at obviously Apple. I'm looking at Oracle. I'm looking at Bank of America. And uh, I'm looking at on the ETF side, I'm looking at Vanguard S&P 500 VOO. So those really the four right now in my scope. Keep a close lookout today to see if I can pick up anything on sale. Question is, what are you guys doing? Hopefully you are continuing to buy every day that the market is red. You know, continue to buy. Like I said, your blue chip companies, blue chip ETFs, blue chip cryptos. See, we gotta have a long-term plan, guys, if we're gonna make this thing work, right? We can't be jumping in and out. At least I can't. I'm not, I'm not good enough to be, you know, picking winners and losers on a daily basis. I'm just not good enough to do that. Um, my, my plan is to just pick long-term winners right that's that's my plan and you know because what's going to happen is in this bear market we're in you're going to have bounce days where the market you know it, it bounces up seems like things are back on track and we're you know headed to a bull market but that's not necessarily true guys that's just you're going to have good days even in bear markets the key there is if you have a good day and it's green and you feel like you want to get out of a position, that's probably the day to get out of it, right? You typically don't want to get out of a position when it's when it's red. You, you want to get out of a position when it's green. So if you got to get out of something and we have a bounce day like we had on Tuesday, then that's probably the time to get out of it. But I wouldn't make that my, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't make that my standard investment practice is to be hopping in and out of the stock market because history tells us 
most of us will lose if we try to do that. We just don't have the experience, nor do we have the insider intel that a lot of our institutional investors have. You know, these guys have algorithms, they have teams of people with a lot of knowledge of how to do this working for them. We don't have that. All we have is just Google and our smartphone, our laptop or our desktop. So be careful there, man, trying to, you know, jump in and out of the market. But again, if you have to get out of a position, I would say the, 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 the right time to do it is probably when the market is green. Um, like it was yesterday for the for the majority of the day. So I, I'm just going to stay the course. I'm going to see what's going to be happening today. And um, I'm going to be deploying my cash if opportunity presents itself, if the market's red, if those four investments I just mentioned um, are red and, and they're at my target buy prices, I'm all in throw one more in there is Tesla. Tesla had a nice bounce yesterday. It actually, you know, went over 700 yesterday. I think it closed at 711. But then I looked at the pre-market price this morning prior to making this video and it was already at 688. It had already came down. And I think the reason it came down just just like many other uh stocks, many other ETFs is because the market is trying to anticipate uh the Fed uh, chairman's meeting with the Senate Banking Committee on Monetary Policy. I think the market is saying, you know, this thing could go either way. Let's cover our bases. And I think you, 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 the market is saying it's going to be red today. So I, I think that's why Tesla fell, uh, you know, overnight. And, and like I said, pre pre market price was a lot lower than uh, closing bell price yesterday. So got Tesla on the radar too. You guys know I'm big on Tesla but only at the right price, uh, only at the right price. So drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know guys, what's on your radar today? What are you gonna be picking up? You guys know we're doing that $5 a day investment challenge using the Weeble app through fractional share trading, right? Look, with little as five bucks, we can buy blue chip companies, blue chip ETFs, and blue chip cryptos through fractional share trading, right? And I think that gives all of us the opportunity to participate in this great wealth transfer. I'm gonna continue to pound that home, guys, because if you want to increase your net worth, man, you wanna put some net worth in your pocket over the next two, three, four, five years, this is the opportunity to do it, right? Right now where everything's on sale. So join me and my subscribers uh, by, you know, start, that Weeble $5 a day fractional share trading investment challenge. Weeble link down in the description box. Also, Weeble's gonna give you six free stocks for signing up, which is a nice little thank you. Um, and if you need help with the Weeble app, if you don't know how to do fractional share trading on the Weeble app, all you gotta do is follow me on Instagram, send me a DM, and I will go ahead and send you a tutorial video that I did to walk you through fractional share trading on the Weeble app. Well, all right, guys, I'm going to end it right there. You guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with a new video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.
Thank you.